main man, Lucky Lance, you're ready for more Ponza action. That's right. I'm ready for more. I hope you are too. My name is Lance. More importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. Major Riot is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, and MTGA. If you're watching on Twitch, please start following. If you're watching on YouTube, please start subscribing. And give this video a thumbs up. That's supposed to help me out. And uh, I guess I need to tell you that. Uh, as you can tell, I enjoy playing Magic, and when I play Magic the Gathering, I prefer to play Modern. When I play Modern, I play one of five decks that I'm somewhat coherent with. Those five decks are Jund, Boros Burn, Humans, Grixis, Death Shadow, and what you see on your screen right now, Gruel, Ponza, Midrange. That's right. Grueling, Ponza, Midranging. Uh, it's actually my favorite deck. It's the deck I play the most, uh, even though sometimes I yell at it and it deserves to be yelled at. Sometimes I mean, you yell at these things, for real. I'm probably going to yell at it today. I'm tired as hell. I've been busy all day. Uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, not that any of that matters to any of you. Uh, but to me it matters. But uh, I think I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can do it. It's not that hard at work, right? Playing magic on fucking the computer. That should be easy, right? Uh, what else we got here? We got to take a look at the weather. It's actually like a spring day today. In fact, let me turn down my heat. Why is it still on? There we go. I'm sure I'll have to run over and turn it on somehow later. All right, weather for Ravensville conditions are sunny with a temperature of 56 degrees. The wind is blowing from the southwest at 4 miles per hour, and current humidity is 49%. Yeah, I'm up in elevation, so it's not as warm as like Seattle. I saw it was like 62 or something, something insane in Seattle. Uh, but yeah, 56 here is quite warm uh, for this time of year. Uh, global warming. I think it's climate change, right? You say global warming, you look like a dumbass when it's cold as fuck everywhere. But they say, well, it's cold as hell because of global warming. He's like, what? I'm not a scientist. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to live my life. Leave me alone. Pay my taxes. Why do you think I'm always so fucking broke? Uh, let's see here. Also, uh, let's see. We're still at 105 followers on Twitch. Thank you very kindly. Well, we got up to 153 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you very much, guys. So shout outs to 105 followers on Twitch. Shout outs to 153 subscribers on YouTube. And a massive shout out to the three Twitch subscribers I have. They're giving me real authentic cash. I really appreciate that, guys. That money's going to a good place. And I ain't talking about Jack in the Box. Or if you're not from around my area, uh, McDonald's. There, that's always the... Everybody knows McDonald's. Um, yeah, that's about it. I gotta say, I guess. Um, thanks for everybody watching on YouTube. It's just continuing growth over there. You know, I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, thanks for putting up with me. I know I'm not the best. I know I'm not the most entertaining, but I'm trying to bring you the best Ponza and various other action I can bring you. Okay, so onto the deck. It's just a standard grill Ponza. I'm tired. Now, interestingly enough, I am 3-0 in this league. If I can win two more... I can get that magical 5-0 trophy. Uh, this 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 week is just Ponza Thursday. It's a shortened one. I can't play for two hours. I had to get off a little bit early for work-related purposes. Saturday, I will not be streaming, but I will be participating in the Showcase Challenge on uh, Saturday. And that will be recorded for everybody on YouTube. It will not be live, um, but it will be recorded for your enjoyment on uh, YouTube the next day, hopefully. All right, guys, let's get in here. Like I said, I'm tired, but I think I can handle it. We're going to be all right. It's going to be good. And I'm going to get in here. And we're going to go for it. All right, we're going to try and get that. We're going to try and get that massive, importantly, massive, bigly, as Donald Trump would say, 5-0. Just got to win two more. I've already won four in a row. This is the thing I always do. I always win more than five in a row, but it's never in a continuous league, right? The last time I did this last week, I think, I think I won like what? Man, I don't remember, like seven in a row or something before I finally lost. But they were in two different leagues, so it didn't count as a, a 5-0. It just was like, oh, you went 4-1 and then 4-1. Like, damn it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Or not. Maybe not. Opponent seems to be more tired than I am. There we go. Silent song. 
Yes, I'd like to go first. Yes, I'd like to keep this hand. Folks, luckily I do have an energy drink on me. It's another new flavor to my area. This is Adrenaline Shock, and this flavor is Orange Freeze. I like orange-flavored things, so this should be pretty good. You know, Orange Freeze uh, going to be good. Let me give it a taste. I need this energy. I need this caffeine. Today at work, I had to drink a damn Coke Zero and a five-hour energy and my morning coffee. And, uh, you know, it's just been rough, you know. I've been running all day. When I got home from work, I was just action-packed. That's why the stream started a little bit late. I had a lot of work to do when I got home, too. Oh, yeah, that's real fucking good. That's like orange creamsicle. Fuck yeah. All right, let's keep. Turn three, blood rate out. Turn two, pillage right now. We'll see how many egregious errors I make being this tired. But I think, you know, once I get this competitive juice flowing, I'll be okay. Well, I guess we play Stomping Ground and then play um, Season Pyromancer. I hate tossing away. Definitely tossing away Lightning Bolt. Do I toss the forest as well? Because it, if I toss the forest, it means I won't be able to play with the blood break potentially. I gotta toss the forest. Okay. Well, Clothes is good. Yeah, I can top deck a land, play Clothes, do something, hit him with a pillage. What we got here? Is it? What the hell is this? When you cycle wind caller target creature against flying, what in the hell's going on here? This guy's 3 0, so we gotta be up to something here. Arbor Elf. I think we just gotta play Clothis. Swing in for three. This is the easy part. Swinging in for three. Playing the Clothis, see if it resolves. It does, nice. So next turn I'll actually need to land unless I top deck a land. Because I want to be able to play uh, a Blood Raid Elf. What do we have here? Is this more cycling? Discard Waker the Ways. Lose half two cards in your life. Put one in your hand and one the other in your graveyard. Okay, this, we're playing against some brew, guys. And he's doing well. This guy's 3-0. and oh, So he's he knows what he's doing. I don't know what's happening, but we're going to find out. Okay. See if I trot back a land. I'd like to. No, it's another Clothis. Instead, we'll eat a land. Get green. Blood Braid Elf, go! Come on, Blood Braid. Uh, yeah, we cast it just because, you know, just to get it out of the deck. I mean, what the hell? Clothis on top of Clothis? Keep this one. All right, swing with everybody. Probably got a Lightning Bolt. Or an Aether Gust. Oh, it's Electro Dominance. Okay, this, I guess we're against Electro... Oh, we're against Living End? God damn, fuck, no. Fuck. Fuck, we're dead. We're absolutely fucking dead. Wow, and is it Living Dead? I've never seen Is It Living, living Dead before. I've seen Rakdos, I've seen Mono Black, but I've never seen Is It. How interesting. I mean, yeah, I'm just dead as hell. Let's resign here. All right. Is it living end? Kind of funny saying that, isn't it? Is it living end? Yes, it is. We got living end here. 
Electro Dominance Living End. So, Relic Regenitus comes in. Draft Digger's Case does not work. Uh, could try Boil. Uh, Pillage is bad. Take out a Blood Moon. I guess. Try this. I don't know. I've never played against Is It Living End. All right, here we go. We keep. Get basic forest, play Arbor Elf. Sounds pretty good to me. I don't know about you guys, but I like it. All right. I think we fetch. Yeah. All right. Fetch, basic forest, arbor elf. All right. What else do we got? Street rape. Steam vents bolt. No. All right, swing for one. All right, they're at 15. Play this relic. They can get rid of that street wraith. Looking good. My Arbor Elf can fly. Fly, Arbor Elf, fly. Not anymore. Wings have fallen off. Ancestral Vision. Okay. Alright, I think it's time for Blood Braid Elf. Come on, Blood Braid! Another Arbor Elf. Hop, skip, and a jump. Alright, swing on in here. For three. Alright. Ditch that Wind Collar. It's another one. That's fine. Bloodbird Elf can fly now. It believes it can fly. Touch the sky and fly away. I haven't heard that song in like 15 years. Oh. That's legit. <laughs> there we go. Legit card is legit. Yes. Clothes. Make him ditch. We want to be able to keep the Relic of Regenitus up. I probably won't be able to kill him. Sure. If I draw a land, that's bad. I can eat my land, I guess. So I'm just trying to make sure I can... Uh, 
do damage here. Scavenging Ooze is quite good. I think I like that the most, playing Scavenging Ooze. Mm, maybe I need to eat my own fort? No, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, at nine. Play this. Play ooze. Eat with ooze. Say go. All right. So he's good. He has not drawn four. Next turn will be his draw four. Right, or draw three. Yeah, draw three. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get to him by then. Another Anger of the Gods. All right. That's legit, I guess. Yep, I'm down to 10. I knew I should have ate that other creature with my ooze instead of with Clothus. What a mistake. This is enough for game almost. Damn it, it's not enough. I think we want to eat the land and then fly over with Glorybringer. Right? This is the same clock. Doesn't speed it up. Got five, man. I want to keep one up for Relic of Virgendus, I guess. Come on, Lord Ringer. I have to flop I have to exert on uh, one of the rhinos. Now I just don't die to a lightning bolt. Wow. Okay. I did not see that coming. Except it can't block. It's tapped. Okay. Here we go for all the marbles. This is intense. Gonna draw four or draw three. He draws three. Full grip. He can't use this. Alright, there we go. I was like, yeah, he can't. Even if they're land, he dies if he can't kill me. Because close with his auto kill. Look at that bone crusher giant. Okay, uh, I don't know if Boyle's good enough or not, but it's better than anything else I got, so we'll just keep going here. There you go. Alright. Playing in some sort of bizarre Electro-Dominance deck. 
Uh, I think I'm going to mulligan this. This doesn't look very promising against this deck. Uh, this looks even worse. Uh, so I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> Good God. Fucking horrible. I want to mold a five, though, you know. Woo! That's some bad shit. Top deck land. I was hoping for an Arbor Elf or something. Sure. Should be the game. As foretold. Ah, I should have on Cinder Vines. I didn't even think about it. Yep, that's the end of the game. Gotta be fucking kidding me with what I'm looking at right here. You gotta be. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my fucking god. This is horrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands out of fourteen cards. Can you believe that trash? Can you believe it? Can you dig it? I have no way of winning. I have no way of winning. Fucking trash. Absolute trash. That was horrible. This deck sometimes just sucks so bad. I guess I could have mulligan to five, but the fuck do you want me to do, deck? Even that 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 keep, it should have still been like halfway decent, but instead I only draw lands. Just terrible. Just absolute fucking terrible. Shamefully fucking bad. Shoot yourself in the head fucking bad. Just, I don't know what's wrong with this deck once in a while. Just once in a while, it just does not function. You just only draw lands. It, it's so crazy. Just so crazy. What was that, 11 of 15 cards were lands? 11 of 15 were lands. The other non-lands were Utopia Sprawl. No, no, I guess it was 10 of 15. I drew Blood Moon there at the end, so 10 of 15. 10 of 15. So here we go. Trying to go for the 4-1. and one. This is a good hand. We keep. You know, I got a basic fucking mountain. Oh, yeah. I got to play my defeat music from the last one. I guess I forgot to, but I'll play it now. Fuck. Ah. like it. it looks like it's more storm or not more storm but you know uh yeah i mean we just put green on this
I think I can play Questing Beast next turn. Yeah, maybe it's not Storm. Ah, it's Blue Red Prowess. Okay. Okay. I guess we just play Glorybringer, huh? Glory bringer. Swing hard, buddy. Of course, everybody knows it's Monday, and Mondays are generally the days where I just I cannot win to save my life. I'm gonna play Bolt Soul Scar Mage. Okay, if I draw another land, I can soul, I can kill a Soul Scar and play Questing Beast. See, they got some for it. If they want to waste a spell to keep it alive, looks like they do. All right, they're going to make it a 1-1. One, one. Okay. All right, we'll still attack and exert, of course. Attack and exert, you attack. Uh, kill the one there. They take five. This questing beast can be pretty nasty to them. Yeah, I can't play Bone Crusher and Quest, I mean, Pillage the next turn. Pillage is really bad, but, you know, I'll still throw it down if I get the opportunity to. Actually, it's quite good now because there's only one, only one blue source. Hmm. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, I mean, we need to hit it. You know, take the risk and hit it. Let's get a lava dart. Yep. Okay, I mean we're in a lot of trouble here. Now we're both down to ten. Yeah, I don't think I can play that. Yeah, I just don't think I can go down to eight. I'm guaranteed to go down to five, if not just die. If I don't play a creature, I probably just die anyways. Uh, I'm going to risk it here. Get something out, you know. Not looking good, I'll tell you that much. I don't have another land, dude. Stick with that basic mountain. I forgot he had to sacrifice his own mountain. Yep. 
now we block. Mutagenic growth. Lightning bolt, two, three, four, three. He'd take two, he's six. I'd be down to four. Uh, probably just dead. If that's the case. Mutagenic growth, okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. He had everything, guys. I can't. Uh, deal with that. Come on, Blood Braid. Scavenging Ooze. Blood Moon, that does nothing. So now we just sit here and... Yeah, I just have to sit here and block with the Glorybringer. <sighs> yeah, we just gotta block. I, I can't do anything else. Just on blocking duty. Really need Lightning Bolt there. Or scavenging Usum is by far the best draw. I'm going to elite two things, go up to six. And, you know, maybe try to do something. All right, I mean, still need that scavenging ooze. Oh my god, got him. Okay. So with ooze, I can go up to seven. How many creatures are there to eat? One, four, okay. Devour. All right, back up to seven. I think I can swing here aggressively. I'm being aggressive here. Gotta hope he doesn't find another land. It's probably the game if he finds another land. He's probably got multiple one mana spells. Even though you think he, if he's got a lightning bolt, he just wins. You know, I mean, just straight up. I like being aggressive. I really do. All right, knock him down to five. Let's see if I can survive. He found another land. Yeah, if only I had, uh, if only Blood Moon didn't come down, maybe that's the wrong... No, nah, Blood Moon's okay, because he still can't get blue. He still can't get blue, so... Okay, it might just be dead, Manamorphos. Now he has blue. Why is Manamorphos so fucking good? It's just the stupidest, one of the stupidest design cards ever that's still legal. That nobody cries about. I'm serious. Just gotta get two more. All right, just absolutely stupid. Just absolutely stupid. Just absolutely stupid. He's got it. I mean, it's over. Three mana Morphos. What a skilled player. What a skilled player. Golf clap. What a great player. So skilled. So fucking skilled. You can just sense the skill. You can just sense it. You can just sense the skill in their fucking tits. They lean their tits forward 
and they played three straight Manamorphos to win the game. Incredible gameplay. Incredible gameplay. Just, it doesn't get any better than that, folks. It doesn't. It doesn't get any more skillful and wonderful than that. Just three straight Manamorphos, because that's what you do. That's what you do. All right, obviously we got to take out the pillages and the blood moons. Those are really, really, really fucking bad. Uh, weather the storm, anger the gods, obstinate Baloth, and one relic of Progenitus is what I like to bring in. It's just what I do. All right, let's see if I can win a match today. Okay, we're getting to the point where it's just it's looking really bad. It's looking sinisterly bad. Uh. You know, I, I know Mondays are always my worst days. I'm barely awake when I'm playing, but I'm awake enough to see that that opponent, he got mad lucky. He just started Manamorphosos and won off that. This is ass. Got a mulligan. This is also bad, but we keep. The second basic forest on the bottom, I think. I think. Uh, maybe I should have. No, no, that was the right call. Okay. All right, why do we have Relic of Regenis in there? To try and deal with, uh, in case they have, like, uh, what you call it, uh, I haven't seen it forever, but I still care about it. Uh, Bedlam Reveler. Uh, I really can't get the damn... What should we call it? Um, lava dart. But a man can always stream. That does turn on Blood Raid Elf turn three, if this if this uh, Arbor Elf lives. So far, so good. He's still alive. Manamorphos it is. Probably big bird monster now. I would assume. Bird monster? Bird monster. Alright, he's gonna scry here. See what he does with the scry. See if he goes plus or top or bottom. One bottom, one on top. We're gonna bolt this thing during his end step. And, uh, see how he likes it. Okay. All right. Okay. Bloodbraid Elf, we need your help. Bibi, ooh. Come on, Bloodbraid. Lightning Bolt, sure, hit him. Get him for six. So I'm talking about. All right. Still need the hits to keep on coming. We put one on the top. Don't know what that could be. And one on bottom. So it's probably like another Manamorphos. You know, I mean, seriously, Manamorphos is the best card in this deck. But now it's not good because there's no creature on the field for him. Might be good again. It gets to a sphere. Oh, Sprite Dragon. Isn't that lovely? Lightning Bolt, my Arbor Elf. Huh. Okay. Sure. If he doesn't swing here, I'm going to assume he's got, like, mutagenic growth. Because he tried to block. Alright. Okay. See that top deck? Arbor Elf. That's not exactly great. But we will swing. 
Knock him down to nine. Play Arbor Elf. Say go. Nah, I probably should use the Relic there. I mean, the whole reason I haven't popped Relic yet, which I think I'm going to now, is because of Clopas. You know, trying to eat stuff. Still only knocking me down to two, huh? Okay. Do you have more? There we go. There's light of the stage. We get enough light. Two lands. Two lands. Good lands, though. Deck thinning lands, not like two basic mountains. <sighs> Play Stormwing, sure. Anger of the Gods would be sweet. He has not played a land yet, which is scary. Puts two on top. Alright. That's really scary. Okay. Questing Beast is good. That's also good. Alright, let's swing on in. Force a trade. Well, maybe not potentially force a trade. Probably have lightning bolt. No, I guess they don't. Okay. Alright. I can still die. They put two on top. It's probably mana morphos plus mana morphos. What do you want to bet? There will be a mana morphos this turn. We are gonna see a mana morphos. I'm I'm predicting it. I'm predicting it and it's it, it it's gonna be bad. Manamorphos, 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 Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. <laughs> well, that's interesting. He put the stuff on the top of his deck, and it looks like it's not what he wanted, which is weird. Sure, another Sprite Dragon. Yeah, that Sprite Dragon can block the uh, Questing Beast. Okay, so he's probably got another... Um, Light of the Stage? Yeah, Light of the Stage, okay. Lightning Bolt and Steam Vents. He already played a land this turn, so I don't have to worry about that. Basic Forest, that's wonderfully exciting. I mean, it's not bad if I get scavenging ooze, right? All right, come on, Season Pyro. Double Bolt. Two Bolts. Bailoth and Wren. Bailoth and Wren. Uh, yeah, swing with the Questing Bees till trade. I'll take it. You know, barring a mutagenic growth. I mean, he has to block it. Nothing else he can do here. Yes. All right, Obstinate Bayloth, get in there and gave me four life. And then we'll swing with everything we got next turn. Hopefully. Again, men can dream. <sighs> Fire Island, gonna draw a card. There we go. Still has Lightning Bolt available. Plus three cards in hand. Can't play the Steam Vents anymore. I don't think I can die this turn, but we'll find out. 
The sad part is Glorybringer does not get out of this because Sprite Dragon is a dragon. I can't exert on a dragon's. I think I can, but it just does zero damage. I've done it, guys. I've exerted on dragons and nothing happened. Okay, he's going to put the minus on there and make it a 1-1, one, one, sure. Just need to anger the gods. You know? Okay. Help deck. That's not help. That's not help at all. That is not help. Alright, swing with everyone. See if I can't hit him with the damn... Uh, Brennan Six. If he's got like Bolt here and then Block here, that is pretty fucking good. Oh my god, he's got it. Vapor Snag. Is that three? I think we just want to make tokens, right? I think so. I think I like making tokens. I think that's the right call here in making the tokens. Can at least block the soul scar. He's got two cards in hand. If you got bolt, bolt. Uh, I'm dead. I'd live by one, actually. Bolt, bolt. Bolt, bolt, I would survive by one. I think. Okay, looks like somebody else can also draw a lance. Lava Dart. Okay. If you Lava Darts, that's six, eight. Nine, it'd be at four. I'm going to take it all. Okay, Pyromancer tokens. And hope I can find Lightning Bolt or Stomp or something. There's Lightning Bolt. Swing for two. He takes it all. Love it. Let's kill him with style with the Renin Six, right? <laughs> you done fucked up. You fucked up, dude. He didn't know I had Renin Six. There's no way. You know, I, I still think he should have. I mean, there really was nothing he could do there. I mean, a top deck bolt. Even if I won a top deck bolt, he would have won if I won a top deck bolt. Okay. If he would have lava darted one of the damn tokens, and I didn't top deck bolt, he would have won by one. You know, I mean, that would have been sad. Crying sad face, as they say in the internet business. I guess the Raffle Mao emoji is not popular with people born after 1997. They think it's old and lame. I don't know what to say to those children. What's wrong with Raffle Mao? R-O-F-L? 
M A O, Roppel Mao. That's always good shit, right? This is horrible shit. This is like god awful. <laughs> uh, this is more keepable. Oof. Probably put the additional basic forest on the bottom, right? Yeah. All right, here comes Swiss beer. More lands. That's what we need. We need more, not less. Fetch for a basic forest. Just try to thin my deck here. See if Arbor Elf lives. What if it was not terrible draw? At least I can fetch for basic mountain and save two life. Um, I have to see what they do here. This is just never easy. Never in a million years is this shit easy. Soul Scar. Lava Dark, yep. All right. I am down to 16. Opposite Bayloth can be good later, but not right now. Swing for two, I'm down to 14. Light up the stage. We get Sprite Egg and Swiss Beer. What are they up to here? They gotta play the Sprite Dragon right now. I should probably do light of the stage. I mean, psh, not light of the stage. Uh, weather the storm right now. Uh, that way I gain nine life back up to twenty-two. Okay. Season pyro. I don't want to play that yet. I do want to play the Clothis though. Okay. I mean, next turn, what do I do? Need to eat potentially Lava Dark. Really need to anger the gods. That'd be an amazing draw, you know? For real. Where are you at, anger of the gods? I know I sighed in two, but I have not seen them yet. I've been hit by anger of the gods twice today by that living end deck. Opponent is tanking hard here. Don't know why. They've not played a land yet. Maybe that's what they're looking at. If they can lava dart. So my plan here is to basically negate the stomping ground life loss. Oh god. <laughs> here comes Manamorpho, so he might just die this turn. Let's see if he's got it. Let's see if he actually has lethal. Right now that is eight damage. Yeah, I, I'm probably gonna die here. He's only gotta get, yeah, Lava Dart is enough, I think, for game. 
You gotta be fucking kidding me. Why haven't they banned fucking Manamorphos? It's so busted. It's absolutely insanely busted. That's 36912. Lava Dart would be 4812-1617. I mean, I'm just dead as hell here. I'm absolutely just fucking dead as fucking shit. Yeah, he's got two lava darts. Unfucking believable. So, I'm gonna start the day off 0 and 2. Um, I'm telling you, Mondays are my worst day. I cannot imagine having a good Monday anymore. I mean, it's just absurd. Like, why I can't ever have a decent Monday? I'm tired as fuck. I get my ass absolutely beaten. My ass is red and sore and bloody. It's just, it's terrible. It sucks. It's just, what the fuck do you want from me, game? <laughs> I gotta go own five as it's Monday. I wonder if there's a scientific explanation for why Mondays are so rough for me. Like, why is that? You know, Owen two, getting ready to slit my own throat. It's uh, really bad. Really, really bad. Just tired as all hell trying to play this game. I mean, it's not that it's not I'm losing because I'm tired. It's just I'm losing because the deck isn't working right. Uh, opponents just unskillfully play Manamorphose. You know, I mean, there's zero skill in that card. That's like one of the worst cards still left, I think, Manamorphose. It's just free. I mean, it's just dumb. It's a really bad card design. It, it's got to be one of the worst card designs that's still left. It has to be. I, I really can't think of another card that's left that's not a Planeswalker that's that poorly designed. You know, I mean, Manamorpho sucks. You know, and by, when I say suck, I mean it needs to be banned. Something needs to happen. Knight of the Knee, nice. Monty Python reference we keep. All right, Clothus turn two probably. It's usually one of my favorites. I picked. Okay, I picked red. I wasn't sure there. It's like, what did I do? Oh my god! All right. All right. No more laughter. Laughter is gone. No more. No more giggling. No more laughing. Back to back, is it prowess? I've only played against is it today. Is it living end and back to back, is it prowess? I guess it's like, is it electro dominance? Is this part? No, that, that's the right one. Okay. It's weird, but it's small. It looks like a different logo than the Kaladesh one. Kaladesh, man, where is Anger of the Fucking Gods? I mean, I don't have it in this game. It is game one, but I mean, I haven't seen it all day. I've been angered twice myself. Light up the stage. There it is, Manamorphose. Get hype. Get fucking hype. Uh, yeah, I think we just eat their cars to try and gain life. Play the season pyro, dumping Ren and pillage. Get lightning bolt. That's okay. Say go. Well, I mean, maybe I should. Yeah, I think I just need to bolt one right now. Then I can Chandra the other one. Uh, 
How many metamorphos do they have this time? Over, under on three. Ah, double red. Probably not metamorphos. Probably multiple lightning bolts. Probably like a lava dart here, then light up the stage. Waiting on the opponent. Yeah, wild slash. How about that? Wild slash. Now it's lightly stage time. Mutagenic growth and opt. Well, that sucks ass. He's got mutagenic growth. I can't even kill the damn thing now. tired yeah I'm just I can't I can't minus onto the it right now uh, eat metamorphos oh uh, you know I could get clothes activated I could go hmm let me think here. I could get Clothis up and running, but I'd have to play Chandra and plus it. I really want to have the Chandra around guaranteed to minus onto this. So I think I'm just going to play one Arbor Elf and then swing with the Pyromancer and hope for the best. So, that mutagenic growth he has to use. He's going to use both these cards. <sighs> oh my god. Why is this card so allowed? Manamorphous should be banned. It's just so dumb. I mean, you just a free card to draw a card? I mean, what is that? Exceptionally poorly designed card. You know, I mean, it's always been. What was his first set it was out of Shadowmoor? I didn't even know that. Sure, opt. Let's see what he does with this opt. One on the bottom, okay. Probably got a lightning bolt for here. No, oh, lava dart, okay. So I'm gonna be taking an incredible amount of damage here, it looks like. Just get a lava dart again, killing my token. Hmm, maybe not. <clears throat> the problem, once again, is that he now, I mean, this is fine. I mean, I don't know what's happening here. He's going to lose his mutagenic growth. I don't really understand that part. I don't know what's happening here. Weird play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go. I can't eat the Lava Dart. Let's eat the Manamorphos again. Lava Dart, he'll just trade, I guess, which maybe that's not the worst. Um, but definitely uh, Chandra. Hope he doesn't have another mutagenic growth. That would be an absolute fucking disaster here. Um, but let's find out if he does. Dealing four. He's got to have another mutagenic growth. He could have like double gut shot and the Lava Dart. He does not. We swing aggressively and passionately, knock him down to five, and hope that's enough for game eventually. We got six damage, two, four, six. Knights of the Knee. Knights of the Knee. I haven't seen that movie in forever, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Like... I, I don't really understand Monty Python humor. It's like old British humor, and it's just, 
Like, I enjoy parts of that movie. I like the part where they go and get the shrub. Remember that? And, like, the shrub's, like, the most perfect shrub you've ever seen. It's, like, crazily perfect. And I really like that part where God comes out of the clouds and he's, like, a puppet. It doesn't fit with anything in the rest of the movie. It just looks so out of place. So, again, uh, Ostent Bailoff, Anger of the Gods, Weather the Storm, and One Relic of Regendus, just because... <laughs> I could bring in Graf Digger's cage, I guess, and, and try to stop it from lava darting, but I'd like the relic to uh, to get an extra draw, because that's what you need a lot of times. They, they draw so many cards. A lot of you don't realize how much is it prowess draws, or just any prowess deck, because they always have the can lands, the modern horizons land, uh, either it's Fiery Islet or Sunbait Canyon. And then they always have the uh, Manamorphos, which is just absolutely brutally good. I'd like to get a golf clap for myself, a golf clap for the first Is It Prowess opponent who beat me with three Manamorphoses uh, to per game. That was pretty disgusting, so golf clap there. Uh, my, my, my victories usually are massive shouts of joy. That's usually what they are, just... Uh, an explosion of uh, happiness, and then my defeats are explosions of rage. No, Cinder Vines doesn't really do enough. It's a neat card, but we need to focus on gaining life, not taking away their life. They really do most of their damage off creatures. How you doing, by the way, uh, Nibajad? Uh, yeah, so they do most of their damage off creatures, uh, particularly uh, Sprite Dragon. And so we just want to try and deal with their creatures. That's why Anger got so good. Cindervines just is not very good at all against Prowess. Um, Cindervines is good against any artifact enchantment deck or Storm. And this is not Storm because they're trying to kill you with the Soul Scars, the Swift Spears, all that stuff. Um, yeah, we keep and hope that Arboral can survive. Wow, ops on turn one. That's unusual. It's on the bottom. Love seeing that. Okay, to get a basic forest here. Um, yeah, I just, I, I can't say no to that. Just the potential for a Bloodbraid Elf on turn two is always incredible. Kept a one lander. I... Good draw with a lightning bolt. One landers are interesting keeps, dude. I never keep one landers because my entire hand is all one drops. Okay, there you got another land. There you go. Soul Scar Mage, okay. So we'll bolt them during the end phase. Okay, now it is time for Bloodbraid Elf. I'm taking a lot of damage here, though. Um, down to 15. Come on, Bloodbraid! Do it! Clothis, that's excellent. That is mighty good. That might be the best hit I could have gotten, besides maybe Scavenging Ooze or Weather the Storm. Okay, things looking good here. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Will I defeat the Knight of Knee? Knee! Yeah, the Knights of Knee! Man, it's been a long time I've seen that movie. Incredibly long. Swinging for one? Sure. Probably a live stage here. that show me that light on the stage oh yeah there you go bud soul scar mage and opt okay uh, i guess eat the lava dart this is an opportune time to try and eat lava dart if you if he's so short on mana i mean why not right i'm gonna try it it's generally not a good idea cool uh let's see here play this 
Bolt. Swing. Go. <laughs> this could be a good turn for my Weather the Storm here, potentially. If he gets another land, um, and he tries to go Mage, Opt. Okay, there's Mage. See what he does with the Opt. Oh, Lightning Bolt. Okay. All right. He did not find another land. Okay, so I am going to go uh, weather the storm here. Going to get the stomping ground tapped. And then play weather the storm. Gain nine. At 24 to his six. Bone Crusher Giant is excellent. Uh, let's eat the Lightning Bolt. I'm trying to save the creatures, so those could be potential ooze hits. Stomp. Gut Shot, Mutagenic Growth. Mutagenic Growth. Wow. Okay. All right. Season Byro. Find me some, bud. Glorybringer scavenging. Okay, that should be the game. Well, he's got to gain life here, otherwise Clothes just kills him too. So he's got to gain life or kill me here. Pretty unlikely either one of that's going to happen. Did we get him? Did I finally win? No, he's not giving up. It's not over yet, folks. I have not won. Never mind, I finally won a game today, our match. Woo! Massive T pose for victory. Massive T pose. All right, looks like I can still win, even when I'm half awake and on Monday. Oh man. All right. Leagues always start out so good. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed that as well. I'll start a league out like three and zero, and then lose the last two. So hopefully I can win this one. Go two and two. Oh my God, playing against Volkswagen. Great. This guy. I've played him a lot. Yeah, we keep, because if this guy's still playing Ponza, this is a really good hand for against him. Arbor Elf, okay. Little bit of leg there. Pretty good. Red and six taking out the Arbor Elf. <laughs> Nothing but forest. Nothing but nasty, filthy forest. What's good if he fetches, I can eat. Uh, all plus, I guess. If he fetches, I can eat that and then pillage. Smack Vista. What's he got here? Season Pyro or his own Clothis. Okay. That's a good pillage target. Clothis. Okay. All right. Scavenging Ooze is excellent. We need to get eat wooded foothills, name red, pillage, play forest, play ooze, uh, plus, okay, and uh, hopefully he doesn't have a lightning bolt. It's the only way things could go wrong here. Now he, I guess he didn't have a lightning bolt because he should have done it already. Uh, no, you don't get to eat that. You get more mana. Okay. Blood Moon, sure, I don't care. Whatever.
eat your forest to get red. Swing with everything. Down to eight. Knock you down to seven. Eat something with your my ooze. I mean, this is just a slaughter here. Okay, Chandra makes things a little more interesting. Yep. Still should be game. Sprawl. That five. Uh, yeah, swing for two and bolt. Said attack player, right? Yep. All right, easy peasy. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to go first, so it's kind of me. We take out the four blood moons, bring in the two anger of the gods and the two Baylots. That's all I bring in in the mirror match. I'm generally pretty good in the mirror match. Uh, pretty sure I've won it a lot more than I've lost, but this is a mulligan. This is just no bueno. This is also horrible, so I'm going to mulligan again. At some point, you just give up mulliganing. And you just go for it. What the fuck, deck? That's three hands and you only give me one land? What the hell's wrong with you? So we want to start out on Sprawl, right? Yes. Okay, there's another land. Start out on Sprawl. That way uh, he can't get Pillage. Seaman Spirit Guide gone, so there's no random Pillage coming. He's probably hoping I played Armor Elf and he bolted. Uh, okay, so now we get Stomping Ground, play Clothus. Now he could have Pillage and really fuck me up. Clothus is huge, though. He did not crack that. I mean, he's hurting for lands? Here comes a pillage. Get hyped for it. Oh, I guess not. Maybe a clothes of his own. Okay, clothes of his own. Huh. Uh. Yeah, we just don't want to be putting all our eggs in one basket on that. Do red. Do green here. Toss these two. Get another land. Say go. My pyromancer is going to be devoured. Nope, I'm going to eat Wooded Foothills, okay. So this is probably Glorybringer. Oh. Elder Gargaroth. <laughs> okay, going to need a lot of help here. Yeah, do Stomping Ground again. Let's see what we can do. A Windswept Heath. That's not good enough. So basically I gotta double bolt this Gargaroth, I think. Uh... Okay. No swing, no nothing.
If he goes to the Pyromancer, we gotta get him out. Goes for a land. There's probably another Gargaroth. If it's another Gargaroth, we're just dead. Sure. Ren and six. Okay, stomp. Sure. This is going to be gross. Block with everything. I guess I took extra damage for no reason. God damn, what the fuck? So many lands. I mean, he's got a lot of lands, too. Sure. Yep. Oof. Good God, oof. So that's the end of the game. I can't, I can't get around that because, I mean, my, my cloak this is negated now. God, it was a decent game considering I had a mold of five. Go down to eight. He can still play Bone Crusher Giant. He does, okay. And then whatever I uh, get with, whatever I choose with ooze, he's just, oh, okay, he's just going to do that now. Okay, so game's over. I mean, just see. Anger of the Gods. Holy crap. I guess the game's not over yet, huh, guys? Holy crap. All right, eat Arbor Elf. Holy crap. The game still goes on. Oh, my God. That's insane. I mean, now we have a massive race on our hand. He's, he's got a massive lead here. Wow. Uh, yeah, just get red. Come on, Glorybringer, go! Go, Glorybringer, go! Yeah, how about that, Majad? And then I got a Glorybringer back off, back to back, amazing top decks. Ah. Just go, go, go. <laughs> Both of us are just top decking lands. That's crazy. I'm surprised that was drawn. If he's got lightning bolt, he could almost win with that lightning bolt. He could go bolt me, then eat the bolt. I'd be down to three, then he could play blood braid elf to win. So, he's got two cards in hand. He's not casting at all. I wonder what those are. I need to put my draw on. It doesn't matter. What are with these draws? Can you believe how many uh, lands there are here? Look at how many there are. Look at how many lands are on both sides of the battlefield because of fucking Ponza. He's at one. I'm going to hold this land, make him think I got something. There's one bolt. 
He's just got a glory bringer. Oh, he's probably just got a bolt. Yep. God, can you believe how many lands I top decked in a row there? Can you believe what you have seen? Let's count how many lands I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Can you believe that? Let's see what he gets. Yeah, he just gets a game. <laughs> Unreal! I mean, we had two amazing top decks back to back, and the rest were land. Let's see what was next. It was an Arbor Elf. That would have done nothing. Arbor Elf done nothing. Pillage done nothing. Bloodbraid Elf finally would have done something. So we should have lost that game much harder than we did. But it's just, uh, you know, I, I pulled. I. The fuck is this? Uh, I mean, it's it's rampy, so I guess we keep it. Yeah, Ponza is horrible with top decks. Ponza is one of the worst decks I've ever played when it comes to top decks. It just, it's so bad sometimes. It's just, it's so unbelievably bad. It's just crazy bad sometimes. We always want to start with the Arbor Elf. I mean, the Utopia Sprawl. Simply because, wow, that's dangerous. More lands! Come on, guys, let's get hyped for more lands. More lands. Multiple Arbor Elves. I'm probably just going to die to Elder Gargaroth. I mean, for real. I don't have anything for Elder Gargaroth. I got lucky that I was able to kill that one he had. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to kill an Elder Gargaroth here. Okay, Clopas. Anger of the Gods. I mean, that could be helpful for later. Probably a Bloodbraid Elf or a. Um, looks like it's going to be an Elder Gargaroth. Oh, well, it's a Bloodbraid Elf. What do you get? Oh, an Arbor Elf. Okay. Alright, well, we got to kill that shit. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure, sure. We're going to die because I can't deal with the Clothis. I mean, that's this. I mean, he's got a Clothis, so the game's pretty much all over. I'm going to minus on and kill that his Arbor Elf. And then swing for one to get that one point of damage in. Swing for one. Anger of the gods. Right? I mean, I, yeah, we got we got to anger because his clothes is getting close to being turned on. So he's got one more land he can eat to get a glory bringer or something. Yeah, he's just gonna go for here. He's got another bloodbraid elf. Yeah, just flame slash. Yes, you gotta miss. My God. I hate Flame Slash in this deck because of that. It's so bad. I don't like cards like that. Pillage. Pillage, huh? Well, shit. I mean, it's halfway decent. But it's just not really what we're looking for right now. I just got to draw action. I can't find action. I've got so many lands. I'm just going to die here. I mean, just... <sighs> it's going to die. I mean, just... How about another land? How about another land off the top for me? It's a Bloodbraid Elf. Holy shit. Okay, find some good Bloodbraid Arbor Elf. That's fucking horrible, dude. What is that? We're just dead. Just absolutely dead. Yeah, we are just toast, dude. We are just absolutely fucking toast. I can't swing. If I swing, he just lets it come through. And he's down to 15. He don't care. He gains most of that back. He goes back up to 17. Scavenging Ooze devours two. He goes back up to 19. 
oozes up 4-4. Four, four. He swings, I have to block, and I go down to 6, actually down to 4. There's just no possible way here. Potentially, I can double block this scavenging ooze. So that's what we have to look at here. Now it looks like he's going to have another blood braid elf or something. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I tried my damnedest. I really did. Just the deck is just fucked up. Just, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? I need, like, another Anger of the Gods. And even then, I'm dead. I mean, I just die. Lightning Bolt. Yeah, I'm just completely dead. Yeah, no matter what I do, I'm dead. So, I just bolt for good measure, I guess. Bolt here, that comes back off. They just swing for five. Yeah, they just, just show them that, you know. Hey, fuck it. Well, the deck fails again. Uh, Mondays are always the worst for me. Uh, I, I have debated not playing Mondays anymore. I have. I've really debated that I just I shouldn't play Mondays anymore because this I cannot win when it comes to Mondays. It's very rare I have a positive experience on Mondays. Um, just the deck always sucks on Monday. It just always does. I suck on Monday. The deck sucks on Monday. Um, just, I mean, I couldn't find anything to save my life that game. Ah, that game, too. I, I should have lost that much harder. But then it felt like the, the, the pendulum of luck had swung my way, and then it swung completely opposite. You know, top deck, anger the gods. Okay, I reset the board, except there's a Clothis on the field. This is the strongest card in the mirror match. Then I top that Glory Bringer, and it looks like we're going to get going. But then he finds Chandra, and I only drew a lands. I drew three lands in a row after that Glory Bringer, I believe. And then I would only have drawn Garbage after that, too. I would have drawn two more Arbor Elves, a Pillage that wouldn't have mattered, and then finally I would have found a Blood Braid Elf. Uh, just unable to find anything in that game uh, after I found the Glory Bringer. Um, just, what can you do? I mean, I, I just, I, I don't think I misplayed anywhere. It's just, it's Monday. I'm not going to win. I mean, look at this hand. It's pretty rough. I'm going to keep it just because, you know, we do have incredible accelerants. Um, you know, there's no threats. We keep, um, probably going to lose this game, this match. Looks to be some sort of. Uh, Golgari, maybe. Golgari with Lurus in the main. He looked at himself. He has not fetched, so he must like what he sees. Oh, okay, so we got Jund, Jund Death Shadow. So he liked what he saw. He beat, immediately picked up with Thought Seize. I mean, Street Rage probably is a Thought Seize. And he's already... No, it's Inquisition. Okay, well, I mean, it's still bad. I mean, he'll probably take a... Uh, Renin six, yeah, maybe not. Maybe take the Arboro. Maybe take Utopia Sprawl. Probably take Utopia Sprawl. I mean, cause oh, he takes Renin six. Okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Can I draw my card? It's another Sprawl. God, that's exciting. It's another damn Sprawl. At this point, it doesn't matter what I do. Just play the Arbor Elf. I mean, for real, I have, like, just no faith in this deck today. It's just not going to work. Uh, I mean, he's got so many cards in hand, too. Six after going first. It's just insanity. I might have a Gurmag Angler come out this turn. I have nothing for Gurmag Angler. I have nothing in the deck that can kill. I have to have to exert or Chandra and then bolt it or stomp it. Pretty bad. I guess I can double bolt. It's probably the least disgusting because it only takes two mana. Charmagoid. Yep. Another Arbor Elf. Getting pretty fucking tired of this. I'm going to admit, I'm getting pretty fucking tired of the deck not doing anything. Probably should have fetched, I guess.
Okay, there you go. There's my epic start. Mana for days. Just incredible amount of mana. Just incredible amount of mana. I'm gonna block. Be, I'm gonna block with one of them. Traverse for a death shadow. If he's got like uh, dismember here and a shock land, that's like absolutely insane. I mean, that would be just brutal. I don't know what takes so long here. I mean, get your Death Shadow. What are we doing? There's no other card you can get. That I'm aware of. I mean, maybe this isn't... It gets a land. Maybe he already has Death Shadow. Perhaps that's the premise. this shit, man. I mean, what the fuck is this? This is why I hate Mondays. I hate Mondays. I mean, I just, they never fucking work. It's such just a drag on me to try and play on Mondays. <sighs> you, it, it sucks when you go to sit down and play Magic the Gathering online. You're like, well, it's Monday. I'm not going to win this. You know, I'll just block again. Get a death shadow this time. Got it. Gotta get that death shadow this time. Get swamped. I have no idea. I am just lost. I mean, I mean, obviously I had a death shadow, so. It is just lands on top after lands on top after lands on top. All right, let's fetch for a land and see if we can't get another land. Scavenging Ooze is actually really good. Probably got Fatal Push, though. God, he's got two of, like, everything. We got Planeswalker. No instant. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty rough sailing here for Ooze. I think I need to play the... I'll play Stomping Ground. Play Ooze. And try to eat a whole bunch of shit. Uh, obviously, I first eat the Renin 6. That at least makes the Tarmogoyf a little bit smaller. Um, eat the Street Wraith. Yeah. Okay. All righty. All right. Okay. All right. It's just pointless playing on Mondays. You know, and the thing is, is that if I went to just skip Mondays, you know what would happen is Tuesday would become Monday, right? That's what, even if it would be Tuesday, it would be Monday. What is this, a Bloodbraid Elf? Fucking goddamn. Sure. That's not that bad. I mean, it could have been a Lightning Bolt. Ugh. Does not swing with the Bloodbraid Elf? Why? What is that about? It could knock me down to seven. Another land. Another land. Oh my god, it's Glorybringer. I can exert onto this. It'd still pretty much be dead. I think that's my best option. Barring a dismember. Well, you can't do dismember here. Yeah, I have to exert onto the Death Shadow. See if he's got lightning bolt for game or another blood braid elf. 
I mean, he's just drawing so many cards. I mean, that's three Mistress Bobbles. All right. She's got Bolt or something. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Why can't I fucking do anything on fucking Mondays? So, we need to bring in Relic Virginitus and uh, Obstinate Bayloft. That's really all I have in these style of matchups. They're both quite good, actually, in this matchup. Uh, the Pillages and a Blood Moon come out. That's what I like doing. Say go. Um, I mean, there could also be Scourges, too. Um, and I, I just, I, I don't know if there is or not. Um, you know, I would assume there probably is at least one or two. Uh, so I, I'm just going to go with the Relics. I mean, they play four Tarmogoyfs. Um, and Relic's just overall a better card against the deck, I feel. I'm waiting for the day where one of these Jund um, Death Shadows has Hooting Mandrels. I, I want to see that again. Oof. I mean, boy, this is bad if... I mean, we go Windswept Heath, get Basic Force, play Utopia Sprawl. They Thought Seize, taking my Renin Six, and then I'm behind the entire turn, potentially for the rest of the game. I just can't keep one Landers. This is much better. This is much better. Uh, probably just toss back... Toss back glory bringer. And then go for uh Arbor Elf. Hope we can top deck Blood Bright Elf. It's always bad. Okay. These Mistress Bobbles are fucking obnoxious. Did he look at himself? No, he looked at... Sure. Season Pyro. Okay. Alright, play the ooze. See what happens. See if it gets bolted too. We have Season Pyromancer next turn. So weird how people play the Mishra's Bobbles. I just don't, like, understand why they don't look at what's on top of their deck. I mean, I think that there's a lot of times I play against guys that use Mishra's Bobble completely wrong. You can really manipulate your own draws with Mishra's Bobble. Instead, people just constantly look at the top of my deck. He, for, he, he could have just drawn, like, absolute ass. Well, he could have fetched away the ass... And draw on something potentially better. Sure. Let me play that. <laughs> I was going to play the Season Pyro, but I'm down with that. Uh, swing with Ooze. Play Clothis. They cannot remove Clothis. Unless it becomes a creature and they're running Dismember. Which they probably are. I have lost Clothis to Dismembers before. And all is dust. And Path to Exile, obviously. And Celestial Purge. Yes, even Clothus can be removed. I've lost the Aether Gust, too. It usually comes back, though. All right. More lands. That's what you need. More lands. Uh, take the Mistress Bauble. I'm going to go ahead and get another basic forest here. Play the uh, good old-fashioned uh, Season Pyro. See what he finds. Come on, Season Pyro. You don't like that. Sure. Are you going to abrupt decay my ooze? Dismember my ooze. Okay. Oh, uh, what do we need to eat here? Do I need to eat a creature for the, the Goyf? 
two in the account won't be instance. I'll eat the Mistress Bobble just to try and keep Goyf a little more under control. All right, back to that. Okay, so Blood Moons look pretty bad. I am not drawing anything good today, like for real. <laughs> it's looking pretty bad, guys. He's probably just hoping I attack, attack him to death with the... Uh, with the blood moons. I mean, with with my Clothis and Season Pyro and try to come back with a win there. Uh, I'm going to eat... I'm going to eat my own Utopia Sprawl. It's an enchantment. I'm trying to keep the Goyfs down. Um, my wife is home. That's why you're hearing dogs. This is five mana. I guess I'll search for another forest. Blood Moon. At least it turns these off. Maybe he wants to draw a card here. Looks like he does. Okay. So he's got his basics that he needs. I don't have my pillages in because pillage is generally pretty bad because of this situation. So we're gonna swing in here for two and uh, try to go for it. What happened there? Oh, he cycled Street Wraith. I was like, what the fuck? Did four damage? What's going on? Big ass Death Shadow. Inquisition, sure. Another Clothis. That is horrible. Eat my Blood Moon again. To try and keep the. Ooh, I mean, the Tarmogoy small. Swing in. Probably got him here. I would just imagine, barring he's got life gain, maybe he's got Weather the Storm. I don't know. Why would you have Weather the Storm when you're trying to play Death Shadow? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. All right. This is for me to try and go two and three. Two and three on the day. Now, the league record means, remains still good. This is a bad hand because I don't think I'm going to have my Arbor Elf live long enough to uh, to matter here. What did he do? Kept seven. It's probably a bad hand, but you know, you just don't want to mulligan against a deck that runs four Thought Seasons and multiple inquisitions so I'm just gonna keep and hope to God that I can find a way out of this street ray thought sees inquisition there goes Arbor Elf okay here we go <laughs> Well, I'm ready to potentially cash Chandra eventually. It's going to die to Goyf. No way I'll live here. Unless I top deck Relic. There is a chance I can top deck Relic. No, Renin 6. That's really bad, too, because if I play the Renin 6, he just hits it and it goes all the way. I mean, there's no point in me playing the Renin 6. Not right now. I mean, a little bit. Maybe I can kill Tarmogoyf with Renin 6 and Lightning Bolt combined? Potentially? Maybe? A man can dream? I mean, this is just terrible. He plays another Tarmogoyf, the game's basically over. Okay, gets a lamp. I gotta get a basic forest. Hey, what I tell you guys, there is no way to, I could I, I could possibly win today. It's Monday. It's going to be bad. It's going to be really fucking bad. I mean, there's just no way I can win this. I need top deck Relic of Regendus. Basic Forest.
Oh, there was no instant in there? Yeah, I'm that tired. I didn't see there wasn't an instant. I thought there was, but Traverse is a sorcery, so that's my bad. I'm just going to resign here. Oops, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, let's just get out of here. So that's going to do it for today, guys. A one in four performance. Uh, it's Monday. Let's see what I would have drawn. Basic Forest would have been nothing. So one in four on the day. Uh, the worst performance Pons has had in over two weeks. Um, deck's just not doing good. It's Monday. I cannot win on Mondays. I have looked it up historically on Mondays. I write down every day. Obviously, I have the videos to prove it. Every day that's a Monday, I have usually done the worst. Even if it's a three and two, that means the rest of the week I go about four and one. Um, you know, so a horrible day. Uh, some people would have shot themselves. Um, just a terrible, terrible day. Um, I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time. I gotta play my defeat music. <laughs>
Oh, and shout outs to Nibajad, MTG bot, and the Night bot for keeping me company. Gotta say that. I can't forget. Thanks for talking to me, Nibaj. You're the only guy I did today, and I appreciate it. I'm sorry I let you down so bad. All right, guys. Catch you on tomorrow, Tuesday. It's March. March might be a bad month. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.